Okay, since I know you guys are going to read this and start using this without actually reading the directions, I wanted to create a video to quickly walk you through using this forms designer uh, to create a simple form for forms 7. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the entire process. Uh, first thing we have is I have a site here. This site is an Office 365. It could be your on-premises SharePoint. It could be SharePoint 2010 or even SharePoint 2007. And in this site, I am going to create a list to store my forms. So I'm going to go to my site contents and I am going to add an app which is going to be a custom list and we're going to call this, we'll call this timesheets because let's say this is going to hold timesheets. Let's name my list and then we're going to go into the list settings for that list and we need to add a field to store the form data. So I'm in the list settings for the list and I'm going to create a column and I'm going to call it forms seven data. This is going to be the field that stores all of our form data. It is going to be multiple lines of text and it's going to be plain text. It needs to be plain text. Now we're going to save that file or save that change and so we have our list set up. So now we can start creating form seven forms. So here we have the form designer that uh, you should have the link to. Um, if not, look for it on the blog post or somewhere. It's, it's, it's still in preview at the writing of this video. So right now there's a quirk where the form designer doesn't work quite right in IE. So I urge you to use Chrome until I get around to getting it all polished. Uh, and since it's in preview, I can make excuses like that. So here we have a few tabs on this page. We've got one called Form HTML, which actually shows you the rendered HTML for your form. You have a tab called Form Source. This is the source HTML for your form. And then we have a tab called Script Source, which will contain any custom scripts that you need for your form. So the point of this form designer is it's not a WYSIWYG drag and drop form editor because I simply don't have that much time and like I said this is a free tool but what it does is allow you to create your forms in your fields without having to write any HTML or JavaScript so let's create a really quick simple form so I'm going to create a form here let's create a form with a field called first name we'll keep it a single line of text field here are the other here's all the choices for the fields you can do and it's going to be a required field and let's say and I just want to create that field all right, so when you see I hit create field, it actually put the field into our form. If we look at the form source, you can see it updated the source for us. I'm then going to add a field called last name. It will also be required. And you can see that it gets added to the form. And then I want to add a field called email. And we'll actually make this an email field. We'll make it required. And here is if you want to promote a field to a SharePoint list field, this is where you specify that field name you want to promote it to. So I want to promote this email field to the title field. So whenever someone submits a form, it's going to take whatever value is stored in that email and also put it into the title field of our SharePoint list. So I'll create that field. So if we look at the form, it's just really plain, right? Um, and if you look at the HTML source, it's, it's plain source. So you can actually come in here if you want to and, and just play with this a little bit so I can actually take this submit button because let's say I want it on the bottom of the form I can actually just copy and paste it here and put it in the bottom of my form you can type in HTML here when I come back to the HTML I can hit refresh HTML and it'll show you what it looks like so the thought is that you can take this source which is just HTML give it to a designer or drop it into Dreamweaver drop it into some HTML editor and change it to make it look as nice as you want I'm gonna leave it like this for this example so let's say we're done we've created our form so now I need to specify what is the name of the list that I want to store this form in. And as you remember, we created a list called Timesheets. So I click on Timesheets, click on Generate Source. It tells me the source has been generated. And if we look at the Script Source tab, we now see there is a lot of text or script here. Uh, basically, it's just including the fields we need, or including the JavaScript libraries we need, and it's got the initialization and the submit text. Okay. You also notice the create field button is now hidden because once you've generated the script source, it you can't go back and add additional fields just because I did not 
generate the create the form editor to be smart enough to be able to insert insert all this stuff into an automatically already excuse me generated script so again if you want to create a bunch of fields create all your fields at once before you generate the script all right so now that I've got my script and my form source all I have to do now is copy this script and I'm going to go into SharePoint Designer where I have my site assets library and I'm going to create a new JavaScript file and I'm going to call it test.js just because I want to call it that I'm going to edit the file I'm going to paste in that script just like it is from the form designer and then I'm going to get the form source and I'm going to copy that and I am also going to drop that into this script file. Now this form could actually exist in a separate file. I'm just putting them all in the same file. But this could be the form after your uh, person has made it all pretty and added some styles to it, but just a basic form. So I'm going to save this file. Then I'm going to go back into my SharePoint site. I am going to go to my site pages library and I'm going to create a web part page to store this form. So let's do a new web part page and we'll call it test. We're going to put it in our site pages library. We're going to create it. And now I'm going to add a web part to this page. Let's add a media and content content editor. And I'm going to link this content editor to that test script that we uploaded. So it's going to be site assets slash test.js. I'm going to apply that. And there you can see our really ugly form. In fact, I'm also going to add another web part. I'm going to add that timesheet list so we can see the data in the list. So let's add timesheets. And now we'll stop editing. And there is our form. So I can actually go and create an entry in this form now. And if I try to submit it, it's telling me that the required fields are not filled out. So I need to put those in. And I can put in an email address and it even says, oh wait, that's not a valid email address. So there's email validation because it's an email field. So I can just change that to mark at test.com. And now I'm going to save the form. It tells me the save was successful. If we look at the form data here, we can see that it did put the email address in the title field like I wanted it to. And then here's all the data for the form in that form seven field. So you can come in here and you can create additional entries. And you can see that one got saved as well. And if you want to load one of the old ones, just put in the correct ID for the form and you can see it loads the old forms. So using this form designer you can create forms without ever having to write any script or HTML. Um, it's not been fully tested, like I said this is preview, so don't try to break it because I'm sure it can be broken, but do get in there and try to play with it and and see what you come up with. Uh, good luck to you and uh, thanks a lot.